performs quite well, and the 2020 format making the game more popular. And now for some local players, this season is a chance to enjoy the game close to home. The Brampton Cricket League held their inauguration ceremony recently, and despite the rain, players were eager to get the season started. Harpreet Deepak has the story. These cricket players are playing on a pitch in their local community, and some of them have been playing for several years. But later on, I think beginning uh, 2000, that's when I started uh, seeing the cricket and then made myself uh, involved in it. In Canada, I would say I started in 2002, so that's about seven years in this year. So They're playing here thanks to a local league. The Brampton Cricket League was established last year and recently launched their adult teams with players ranging in age from 18 to 40. We offer all kind of cricket. We offer 50 over games, we offer 20 over games. We're trying to offer a test match. We have a lot of interest from our teams and so far other leagues have different divisions. In our case, we offer everything when you sign up for one division. And we also have um, grounds that go to Brampton, Oakville, Mississauga, so we have um, different geographical regions cover in one, one cricket league. The local demand for a league has been high and Salim says he even had to turn some teams down because the league was full. So what do the players think about the future of the game in Canada? Uh, I came here in 1993. At the beginning I haven't even if I went to park or anywhere. I hardly ever seen any cricket uh, anywhere and it has increased uh, ever since I started uh, <coughs> involved in the cricket. Yeah, namely. In TND, you'll see many, many teams in there. Even in Scarborough, they have their own league as well. Despite the rain, the launch was a chance for players to enjoy some barbecue and mingle with the president of Ontario's Cricket Association, Mike Kendall, and Brampton councillor, Vicky Dillon, who tried his luck with the bat. And his batting was impressive. For Omni News, I'm Harvard Deepak.